All right, so here are Tyler. We're at the sawmill. This is Tyler. This is the guy that supplies us with all the cedar for the shop. And you guys seen many times, you know, us putting everything on the walls, getting everything ready to go. And this is the guy that does it. So we're going to show you a little bit of his sawmill and kind of what he has going on here. And we'll put uh, below in the description a link to his channel. He has a small channel. He's starting out. Yep. And if you guys want to see more sawmill stuff, more of that, go over to him. But we're going to flip over to this for right now and show you everything he's got going on. So we bring the logs in from outside and we bring them in here. Um, this sawmill here is all hydraulic. So we set them on these, set them in here. And then this, this machine, or the head actually moves back. This machine, the head will move back and forth and cuts the boards. And then the log sits stationary on the mill. So when the head comes back here, the loading arms of the sawmill will load the log up onto the actual mill and it'll turn it and clamp it and do everything for you basically. Um, the controls are all back here. So I'll be standing back there cutting. Um, if there's one guy, then I'll be cutting it all by myself. If there's two guys, I stand back there stationary the whole time. And then the next guy will be, he'll be pulling boards off and stacking them and whatnot. So um, the main thing we do is all red cedar. Um, like in here, this is all the red cedar. This is mainly what we do, uh, is all dimensional lumber. So we cut a lot for homeowners and in individuals just doing their projects at their house. Springtime is always big on like planter boxes and stuff like that. Um, one of the main thing we do is just interior uses uh, for like lining closets and walls inside of houses is probably the main thing we do, but we also work with a couple uh, bigger companies here and there for fences and decks and stuff like that. But so we do a little everything and then we do like some in the back here. We do big live edge slabs for uh, we do walnut and cedar. Um, we do a lot of that stuff for tabletops and bar tops, uh, counters and stuff like that. We leave the live edge on. All right, so we were just cutting is these one and a half by sixes. These are actually going to St. Louis for, uh, they're gonna be for garden beds. Um, we don't cut a whole lot of the inch and a half stuff. The main stuff we do is thinner stuff. They're actually three quarter inch thick boards is the main stuff like I was telling you guys for the like interior uses for closets and stuff like that. A lot of people use the thin stuff, even half inch thick stuff. Um, but yeah, we do all kinds of different sizes. We do posts, uh, two by fours, two by sixes. Um, these are actually regular inch and a half by five and a half up there. We do a lot of that stuff as well. 
Mainly everything we do is eight foot long. We do some a little longer, but mainly everything's all eight foot long. Um, like over there, we, there's a whole bundle of, these are true six by sixes. Uh, those are all for pergolas. We do mostly stuff around here, but we do do stuff, a lot of stuff from Illinois. Uh, there's not a whole lot of cedar in Illinois, so we end up getting a lot of stuff from there and just kind of all over the place. But um, I'm about 50 ish miles away from St. Louis. Um, I guess 50 miles west of St. Louis. Uh, our company is Patent Woodworks. Uh, I've been doing this for roughly six years now. Um, I started in high school when I was 16. This is with a little itty bitty sawmill. Uh, it was all, you pushed it down the tracks, you had a hand crank to crank it up. Um, I sold that one, I had it for like a year ish. And then we sold that one, I bought a hydraulic one. Similar to this one, just not as uh, production oriented. Um, and then this past last summer in May, we actually bought this one, upgraded this one. This is the largest sawmill that Wood Miser makes as far as the portable size. Um, portable is being it has an axle underneath it that you can actually move it. We do everything; it's all stationary. This mill doesn't travel; it's always in in the shed here. What's the approximate price on this? Um, on the sawmill. So if someone were to buy a saw, like this size here, with the options that I have on it, everything roughly 72-ish thousand. Um, the first sawmill I had when I was 16 or whatever, I bought for, it was like a little less than $4,000 for that one. That's what got me started with everything. I had no intentions of whatsoever of <laughs> being where I'm at now with all this. But the second one I bought, that one was roughly uh, 23,000. So there's, there's a range from, everyone uh, from just messing around on the weekends with stuff to people that do it every single day. So it's a lot of fun and we really enjoy doing it. Okay, so we're back. So what we got here is some three quarter inch thick by five inch wide by eight foot long. That's what we, we line the whole shop with. And then what else we got here is some four by fours up here. These are gonna be posts for the mezzanine railing. There's 14 of those. And then we have some live edge slabs um, that's going to be the handrail on top. And then we have some barked pieces. So as you go on up the mezzanine, the two face plates on each side of the steps, that'll have a rounded full tree look to it. And uh, so I think Tyler again made it back okay. He's about two hours away from us. So a little bit of a drive, uh, which is unfortunate because I like to go back there more often to film with him. But we'll see. We might go back there again. You guys let me know if you like this type of video. It's a little bit different than just car stuff, but it's what's going on here today. So I thought you guys liked to know. It's going to be it. We'll see you guys later. Have a good day.